I recently learned about uh, this website from the Ohio State University, which is um, is a nice compilation of uh, recommendations for books that you might want to read if you're into cybersecurity. So whether or not you're a uh, cybersecurity specialist, a, a professional who's actually doing a lot of technical work, or you're just someone in a managerial position in cybersecurity, you're uh, actually leading a penetration testing team, or you're uh, somehow into the field itself, this is actually a very good place uh, to get started, especially if you're someone who's actually learning by reading books. Uh, and I have to admit, uh, I still read a lot of books. So I'm uh, one person who's actually um, learning the old style. I haven't been doing too many courses aside of, uh, so my certification at the moment is the OICP. Other than that, I've actually taken dozens of courses and I have them listed on my LinkedIn profile, but I don't think they, um, I don't think I remember as much from those courses as I, I can remember from the books that I've read. So I think, especially in the world of, to, in the world of today, uh, and I'm actually saying here, and maybe even not to my best interest, because I'm someone who's actually um, selling courses on Udemy. So I don't think, um, Anyone can anyone can actually publish courses on Udemy, which also says uh, a lot about the feedback that you see on many of the courses that are out there because they don't, to be really honest, they don't actually have a filter for quality. They only want uh, your course to be sort of like your recording tools to be good, such as uh, your microphone and your voice to be um clear and your video to actually be high quality but in terms of the quality of the content they cannot control for that which is why there are a lot of bad courses out there but when it comes to books and you're talking about publishers this is a whole lot of game because uh, there have been a lot of eyes put into these books if i someone who's actually um a, someone who sells courses, I can actually put up a course on Udemy in a couple of days. It probably takes months and a lot of eyes to actually uh, write a book, which is why I'm increasing awareness about this. So cybersecurity canon. Now, of course, uh, you... I think um, I think all of these books. I don't think anyone is uh, for free, but you can just go there onto their Amazon page and actually pay for them. So let's let's look into some of them, and let me tell you which I am um, interested in reading and which I have read. So let's see. Maybe I want to learn more about um, Anonymous. This one, Dawn Code War, and of course, Medical Device Cybersecurity. I'm not really interested in this one. Cloud Computing, definitely. Uh, this one, because it's highly praised by the community. I've read this one, No Place to Hide. Recommended, but not too much. Tribe of Hackers, a good book. Practical Malware Analysis, I've been, uh, I've been through this book. Hands on. Uh, what else? There might be books in here that are not necessarily extremely specific to cybersecurity, like this one, Abundance by um, Peter Diamandis. This is a really good book, but it it doesn't actually have to do anything with cybersecurity. Probably this one as well, the exponential organization, and uh, yeah. What else? The practice of network security monitoring. This is more like for blue teamers. Blockchain revolution, not necessarily a cyber book. This is more for uh, people, these two are more for people uh, who are in the managerial positions. 
so cybersecurity for business executives and cyber law dark markets not interested in reading them spies among us sounds interesting what else um future crimes this is a really good book and uh, i've actually read this back in 2015 or 2016 when it was published I remember it was uh, the middle of the winter it was february and i was actually fascinated by the book i kept uh, posting on my twitter and on my social media accounts about stuff from this uh, this book so definitely a good read it's still relevant today five years later let's see so if any of you who's watching this video and uh, have read some of these titles and think are good shout out in the comments fatal system error sounds interesting let's see where is the order of exploitation here i don't see it rise of the machines maybe no place to hide i read this one the code book by Simon Singh, this doesn't necessarily have to do with cybersecurity, but uh, it has a lot of good reviews on um, Amazon. And I guess that's just it. So I don't think there's too many, there are too many technical books in here, but um, anyways, so I think we've gone through all of them let me just go to amazon.com so uh let's go to amazon.com uh let's actually open new incognito let's uh let's look at a few books that i'm so there was one hands-on hacking i think yeah, so this one, I want to get into this one, it's quite recent, uh, September 16, 2020. Let's see the similar books here. Only a few. So hands-on hacking. Let's see, page one of eight. I'm not going to recommend the web application in the hacker's handbook. To be honest, I, it can have a lot of good stuff for beginners, but uh, it's like 10 years later, so the internet is a different place right now. Practical IoT hacking. I've been uh, through a third of this book. It's good if you're into IoT hacking. Penetration testing by Georgia Weedman. Uh, she is going to release I think this is 2014 she's going to release a new version of the book uh, what else uh, Kevin Mitnick his books are not necessarily extremely technical but they have good narratives so definitely right now I think um, I've started so I've started another one from him uh, I think it's uh, the art it has something without the art the art of th something I'm not sure of what let's see Kevin Mitnick what happened to his books yeah this one the art of intrusion and Ghost in the Wires has a lot of uh, good reviews, Art of Deception, so quite a few books by Kevin Mitnick. What else? Oh, uh, let's see. This one, How to Hack Like a Ghost, uh, Breaching the Cloud. This is one of the books that I'm actually currently uh, looking into. So hands-on hacking and the how to hack like a ghost let's see if there's another one here yeah I've read this one real world bug hunting uh, I think a year ago or exactly when it was released 
uh, and 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 let's see this one by Vicky Lee bug bounty boot camp big shout out to Vicky she is a true professional this is a really good book okay so yeah this is a uh, this has been a quick look into a few of the books that I would suggest looking into if you're into cybersecurity from a managerial business executive perspective and also from a, a professional technical hands-on perspective. Again, if you have um, if you have similar suggestions of books, leave them in the comments below.